Chapter Twelve, Goldfinger's Last Flight. Two days later, Felix Slater was driving Bond to Idlewild Airport in New York. M had told Bond to return to the Secret Service headquarters, so Bond was catching the next plane to London. What's happened to Goldfinger? Asked Bond. We don't know," said Felix. "My man caught up at the train, but there was no one on it. Goldfinger and Odd Job had got off somewhere. So had the gang leaders. We don't know where they went." Bond wasn't happy about the way that the mission had ended. The robbery of Fort Knox had been stopped, but Bond hadn't caught Goldfinger, and he hadn't got the Bank of England's gold back. The five gang leaders had also escaped. Two English girls, Jill and Tilly Masterton, had been murdered, and Goldfinger was still free. When they got to Idlewild, Bond said goodbye to Felix and went inside the airport. He had some time before his flight departed, so he planned to have a drink and do some shopping. Suddenly, he heard an announcement from the loudspeaker system. Well, Mr. James Bond, a passenger on B O A C flight number five one zero to London, please come to the B O A C ticket counter. Bond walked across to the ticket counter. Please, can I see your health certificate? Said the official behind the desk. Bond took out his certificate from his passport and handed it to the official.